as we take a look at uh, continuing on through the activity. I'm going to take a look at number six. Number six I like to cover because it's got a three kind of variable step process we got to work through. Looks really tough, but actually it's going to be pretty simple. So as we start taking a look at some of the variables and things we had to work with. Here you have a 100 foot long steel wire has a cross sectional area. So, and here you got 0 0.0144 square inches. So 144 ten thousandths of an inch to the ten thousandth of an inch. When a force of 270 pounds is applied to the wire, its length increases by 0.75. So very similar to number five, but now they want us to determine, now we got three things to look at. They want to know what's the stress, the strain, and the modulus of elasticity of the steel. So when we start to go into the problem, setting it up, here's number six. So knowns, our force is 270 pounds. Area is given to us. So the area is provided, keeps us from having to do some square roots and things like that. L is 100 foot. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, anytime they give you problems in feet, you're going to want to go ahead and convert that over into to inches. So that's going to give you a value of 1,200 12, inches. And then your amount of stretch is 0.75. So here's kind of what this looks like. Here's your wire, and uh, area is 0.044 square inches. It's a very thin wire, so that's why we're not able to see that. So we got 270 pounds that acts on it, and it's a 100 foot length, and that's pretty much about it. So there's not a lot of detail to this drawing, but the unknowns that we need to know is they want to know, well, first off, from our problem, they want to know what's the stress. They want to know what is the strain. So the strain is epsilon, lowercase e in the Greek alphabet. And then they want to know what's the modulus of elasticity. So the modulus of elasticity is a capital letter E, not in the Greek alphabet. And some of the formulas we may need are come from our formula sheet. So First thing we'll need is when you look at this stress, so you can go and find what you need here. So to be able to find stress in the in the scenario, sigma sigma is equal to force over area. Strain is stretch over the original length, and then your modulus of elasticity can be found in one of two ways. And I'm going to show you a little trick. It looks like you may need all these variables, but actually your modulus elasticity can be found by taking the stress and dividing it by the strain. So there's two formulas here you can actually use in this case. So, as far as equations, let's go down the line. Stress is force over area. Strain is the amount of stretch over the original length. And then the modulus elasticity is going to be stress divided by strain. Since we're finding these two, we're going to be able to use those two to find our modulus elasticity. Okay, substituting and solving as we go through this process. So, stress is equal to force over area. I'm going to go ahead and apply this here, 270 pounds, divided by the amount of area. So, stress ends up being, uh, when, you, when you go ahead and put this out, you end up having, as far as significant figures, uh, your lowest amount of significant figures is two, based off your 270, uh, 270 pounds, you have three in this one, so two. You're gonna get a value of 18,750, but we're gonna go ahead and round this off to 19,000 pounds per square inch. So then that way, we are um, following significant figures. Amount of strain, taken by the stretch, divided by the original length, strain is equal to, the amount of stretch is 0.75 inches, divided by 1,200 inches. If you look on your formula sheet, this actually doesn't have any units in it. So in, it ends up, you're going to end up having 0 0.0063. You can either leave it unitless, or sometimes they'll put it as inch for inch. 
So it just depends. Okay, and then modulus of elasticity is stress divided by the strain. Here, you're going to end up taking. So in this scenario, I, I'm going to go ahead and take 19,000 pounds per square inch divided by 0 0.0063 inch per inch. And when I do that, I'm going to end up getting an, a value in the 30 uh, in the 30 million range. So remember, if you guys remember from when we did um, our beams, we're going to end up having a modulus of elasticities are going to have very very high. They want us to go down to the nearest modulus of elasticity. So I'm going to be probably at 30 30 million. Um, if I can find a good spot where there's no glare, about 30 million PSI, which is what I'll go ahead and record this down to. So the final solution, we'll use it as our final 30 million PSI for our value, and that will end out with number six.